We upgrade so many office PCs in this channel and quite frankly, I'm getting tired of having to do it. What if I told you we have one in today's video that's ready to game out of the box for only $279, but is it actually good for that price? We're gonna open it up and find out after a word from today's sponsor. We all dream of finding an amazing deal on a pre-built gaming PC. The kind of deal where you might not even be looking for a new computer, but the price is so good you buy it anyways. Deals like that and the one from today's video can be found on one of our favorite sites, Jawa.gg. Jawa is an online marketplace for buying and selling full systems, PC parts, and even peripherals at amazing prices. Jawa is super safe to buy from, and if you're worried, they even have an individually created group of verified sellers listing parts and products at some of the best prices on the internet. The days of haggling on Facebook Marketplace and eBay for average deals are over. You can just head over to Jawa.gg today and filter through their listings with ease to find whatever you're hunting for. And if you happen to have some spare parts lying around, or maybe you want to start up a new side business flipping PCs, selling on Jawa is super easy and they have some of the lowest selling fees in the business. If you're interested in buying or selling on one of the best online marketplaces for computer hardware, check out Jawa.gg today. Big thanks again to Jawa for sponsoring today's video. Now, let's get back to it. All right, well, shall we unbox this HP? So we do best, we unbox computers. But yeah, this right here is another special eBay find. We've been on a heater of finding some really awesome deals on eBay, which you can do if you snipe them faster than we do. But this is a basic HP office computer. I don't know if it's like an Envy or is it a uh, specific model? It's called the M01 on here. Yeah, it kind of, I mean, based on the pic, <laughs> it's a really bad picture. It kind of looks like one of those, like right before the acid greens came yeah. out, you know, kind of like that. Yeah, so it's one of the really basic ones, but the key specs are a Ryzen 5 4600G, RX 5500 dedicated GPU, 12 gigs of RAM, weird amount. Mm. Anywho, um, let's just have a party here. Yay! Hey. Yay! Not too. Oh god, not, there's not, so oh, many. There's on the so back, many dude. of them. Guys, can you stop using packing peanuts? I mean, yeah. I get it, but like, no, I also should, don't get they it. They should honestly be banned. You know how they're banning like any charger that's not USB C? I think the EU needs to step in. Oh, just the EU. <laughs> Yeah. The EU gets stuff done, ladies and gentlemen. Well, we got a pretty well packaged PC. I mean, not only did they use packing peanuts, they used bubble wrap. So this thing definitely probably showed up pretty well. But at the price that we found this PC for, I mean, so far, I am already impressed, and I haven't even seen the PC yet. And if we know anything about trying to destroy HPs, this is overkill packaging, because they can survive almost anything. <laughs> yeah. McAllister, insert clip here. Oh! oh. Oh yeah, so this is like one of, this is similar to like the Walmart specials we always yeah. used to pick up. Yeah, kind of like, you know, you don't get like the acid green gaming lineup or anything, but they definitely look pretty similar. And uh, it showed up in really good shape, no major scratches or dents or anything. Um, but yeah, as, as we stated before, this is a 4600G, which is a six core 12 thread APU with the RX 5500 non-XT, which is a four gig of VRAM card. Yeah, pretty basic budget line that would have existed about three to four years ago. Probably would have sold on uh, HP's website for like five to six hundred dollars. And um, yeah, not bad. It does have the 16, oh, not 16, it has 12 gigs of RAM, which I'm assuming is dual channel. They don't sell 12 gig DIMMs. Uh, so at least have dual channel memory. Single channel was a big problem back then with these. Uh, so we probably went eight and a four gig. Uh, the storage is a little limited at 256, but Hey, it's at least uh, somewhat upgradable. I think there's room for like a two and a half inch if you want to yeah, add one. Yeah, it is dual channel. So it looks like they're both Samsung sticks. Oh, it actually has 16. It's two eight gig sticks. Maybe they upgraded, question mark? Let's say it said 12. It is mismatched. It has an eight gig 3200 and then an eight gig at 2400T. So a little mm. bit different RAM. Yeah. Hopefully that doesn't cause problems. Uh, we have a little M.2 Wi-Fi chip. We do have an NVMe uh, that is a 256 gig. So that's pretty nice. We have a, look at that, Cooler Master Cooler. Shout out what to an Cooler era. Master. And then uh, what power spot are we rocking here? Yeah, we got a 350 nice. watt that actually isn't adapted from SATA uh, to eight pin. It's actually built into the power supply. So we actually have a very solid system here. So yeah, there's a little bit of an upgrade path too, theoretically. I don't know how much better something like one of those 3056 gigs or something would be, but you do have six pin power. So you could get something that's a little bit, you know, more power hungry and um, upgrade that. And uh, CPU wise though, it's a little bit sketchy with these motherboards. Sometimes they work, sometimes yeah. they don't. And you definitely have to keep in mind the 4600G is going to be your Gen 3 performance type CPU. So you don't want to add like a Gen 4 SSD because you'll just be wasting money and you really probably don't want to go much over the RX 5500 because of the Gen 4 limitation. Yeah, so we're gonna turn it on, make it sure it actually turns on. There are some scratches up front. This is definitely like scratch and dent special. It's been shot at. It's, it's been <laughs> shot at potentially. Move it over and go ahead and do this. Oh. oh. 
for $279. Again, another example. We just have countless examples here on the channel that if you just don't want to build a gaming PC or buy a new pre-built and you're willing to buy used, you can hunt and find things like this so easily for like first kids gaming PC or just something on a budget for whatever use case you need. Yeah, this definitely seems like it's gonna be a really good price uh, per point build. I mean, I'm guessing we're gonna be in like the six to seven cent range, which is gonna be pretty good, but obviously we do have to test some games on it at 1080p more than likely, esports, and there will definitely be some AAA titles thrown in there as well. Let's push this thing to the limits and see what it can do. Okay guys, with every budget PC, there's always bound to be some issues, and this one in particular had some issues. First of all, when we first booted up into Windows, it only showed one stick of eight gigs of RAM, which we looked at it, and it's supposed to be 16 gigs, we'll advertise as 12, but it's supposed to be 16 gigs, so I had to re the RAM a couple times, got that working. I went and downloaded every game we wanted to test, and then restarted a Windows update, and the system was pretty much locked up. I couldn't open any applications, it got me into Windows, but I couldn't open anything up. So what we had to do just to save time and stop troubleshooting that Windows install, because it honestly be quicker to do this, is we reinstalled Windows. So if you got this at home, you probably would have been a little bit upset with a computer that doesn't work very well. But unfortunately, this is kind of the drawback of buying these used computers. You gotta have a little bit of PC knowledge to really take advantage of these deals. And they're not always gonna be perfect. So as you can see, we have a fresh Windows 11 install and uh, more pending updates. I'm kind of scared to do those, but we'll do them anyways we'll go ahead and install this uh, GPU driver and everything and from there uh, we should be good to game on this but we have any more issues we'll check back in all right gamers we are kicking things off with Fortnite 1080p DX12 on performance settings far view distance everything else on low and so far not bad I mean we'll have to land here and see if everything holds up but um, I am getting a late drop I've noticed a trend with Fortnite with older CPUs that on the first game, it's a very, very slow load in, but once it loads in, it's pretty dang good. <laughs> Sorry, buddy. Not bad. This uh, 5500, 4600 is working good. I know, again, we did have some issues initially getting this up and running. Uh, we did have to reinstall Windows, which is a pain in the butt. It looks like we did retain our activation though, so it didn't look like it cost us any money in terms of like the price per point on this PC. Uh, but hey, I mean, once the new reinstall was done, which honestly, it's just good practice when you get a used computer anyway. You don't really know what's on that computer. Um, it looks like it's gonna hold up pretty smooth. I gotta find some shields so I can hold up. A freaking Deagle? Oh! <clears throat> Let's keep... Oh! Sorry, chicken! Oh my god! Oh wait, we're about to have a head-on collision here. Here we go, boys. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Where do you think you're going? Den it, net, 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 that was a weird Fortnite run, I'll be honest with you, but nothing weird about the performance of this PC. Honestly, I don't know if we should give Fortnite more credit or this PC. I mean, it is a budget computer, but I guess that's what 3D Mark Times 5 will tell us when we get our sim per point average, but hey, this thing is eSports ready for sure with this spec configuration. Looks pretty good, move on to the next game. All right, guys, we are playing Apex Legends on our little pre-built here, and we are currently running a kind of like medium preset. We got max FOV 1080p, no upscaling or anything. And let us see what this thing could do. We did just load into a game, kind of like literally the start of the game. So it might take a minute for the game to settle out. We might have a little bit of lag for a couple minutes, you know. A few lag spikes here and there, but um, kind of expected with a PC of this caliber at $279, but we'll see if it gets any better. Oh my God. Oh, Dude, these grenades. Oh, holy How crap. How did the person not die? I think I guess it was their teammates. <laughs> <laughs> or they just sit there chucking grenades. A little red. Yeah. Yermy wormy. Take these grenades. Who is the real one? Oh my god. Ah! Oh, it's yes. the Wraith Man. Oh, the White Knight. Oh my god. Yes. Yes, oh White god. Knight. A little Bozo. He's not a Bozo. I, I take it back. Why ah! do you have so many bullets? Oh my god. Why do I have so many lives? Ah. Oh, it's this guy again. What? First one was a little suspect. 
Okay. Oh, okay. Huh? Oh, another guy don't want to hit health. Oh! Yay. Where's an enemy at? I need. No! Oh, no! Game over! Well, hey. Once we got fully loaded in, uh, the PC was actually very stable, very solid. Temps were pretty decent. We were able to play AAA title, medium settings, and get close to high refresh rate. Yeah, for $279, can't complain. Let's run 3D Mark Time Spy, see that simper point. We'll also run the finals, which is a more demanding esports game nowadays. We'll see what that thing can do. And uh, from there, wrap this video up real quick and see if this $279 PC was worth it in the end. Well guys, we just got done benchmarking our HP here and it worked pretty well. We were able to play eSports, we were able to play some AAA titles as well at some pretty respectable settings. And the fact that we got this thing for so cheap just goes to show that you just gotta do some deal hunting. Deal hunting on eBay is the, well, theme we're going with with the past couple of videos. And finding this one at 279 was a great deal. In terms of our 30 mark time spy score, we got a score of 4,979, which is a six cent per point score. Again, anything below 10 cents is really good, but at six really good bang for the buck and in terms of the finals we also ran that game which is a little bit more demanding esports title 1080p low settings we got like 80 to 90 fps not even using fsr so we have that ability to get even more frames if we want to so all in all for 279 even though we had the windows issue i think we made out really good with this pc but i want to hear from you guys have you picked up anything cool on ebay recently let us know in the comments down below and if you enjoy these deal hunting videos let us know as well and as always we hope you guys enjoyed today's video if you did check out our other t youtube channels and also our twitch.tv slash Bros, and do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. We'll see you guys in the next one. Bye bye. So now that we have fully finished and tested this PC, it'll be for sale at PCBros.Tech with a one-year warranty. PCBros.Tech, our gaming PC company that sells high-end gaming PCs or budget ones like this with a one-year warranty. Use code TOSTYBROS2 on checkout. You'll save 2% on your next purchase. See you guys later. Bye-bye. Peace.